point. I have a little break there. Operating uh, the rudders with this hand control. I don't have any hand brakes. I need, that's what I need is a little hand brake. All I'm doing uh, on the my feet is operating the brakes. Not operating the rudder or the nose. Yeah, it feels good. So here we are, we're taxiing in the uh, Stoll CH-750 uh, SLSA light support, and uh, we have this airplane uh, configured with the uh, with hand uh, rudder pedals, hand uh, rudder pedals, and I don't know how well you can see this, but uh, basically we're in our, our feet are not doing anything at all. We're controlling the airplane 100% with the with my hands. And if I push the center stick here forward, it turns to the left, here we go, a little bit to the left here, you can see I pull back, turns a little bit to the right. And uh, so on this setup here, we don't have any brakes at all set up. All we've done is we basically, we've uh, installed the uh, dual stick option, and uh, rather than have the aileron control on it and the elevator control, we, we've, uh, we've uh, connected it to the rudder pedals, the existing rudder pedals. So basically, uh, we have uh, steering, nice simple way to do steering in it. It's a good, uh, it's well engineered. We actually have dual, dual controls like that. Now, presumably, you wouldn't need dual controls necessarily with hand uh, controls like that. But that's something we'll just have to kind of see where we want to go with it. And uh, again, this is more of a proof of concept prototype here, and uh, trying it out and seeing how it uh, how it goes. Uh, the actual control system on the airplane, uh, we really haven't uh, adjusted those, or changed those at all. All the, the all the changes that we've made uh, have been just connecting the the the, the foot rudder pedals with the hand controller on this. I'll be doing all the steering here, pulling back on the stick to do a right hand turn. Really quite light on the forces, uh, works really quite intuitive. And uh, now I'm putting the brakes on. Obviously, again, this is an area when we're doing the run up here, you have to hold the airplane with brakes. So we've done our pre-flight run up and so forth. Uh, we'll take it around, uh, see where it goes. And pulling back on the stick to get lined up, do a right-hand turn. Push on the stick to do a left-hand turn. And here we are, uh, runway 24 at uh, Mexico Memorial. Mexico traffic, stand more 750, be Mexico. Okay, well, why don't we do, when we do the rudders until we get in the air and then we'll see how it goes? Yeah, sure, yeah. yeah so you got everything. Yeah. Used to it. <laughs> yeah. 
Fish on the ball. Not Steph on the ball. Uh, and pull on the ball. <laughs> Almost, it needs to be, I mean, that's a long way to push. Right. Yeah, but that's a kind of adjustment we have to see where the geometry... Right. Because that's what we can adjust. Both the amount of travel, right. as well as where the neutral is, where it right. forward. Go ahead and try it if you want. Try right, flying a bit? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what you... Oh. Yeah, you want to... <laughs> no. If you feel a stick, you want to... <laughs> so again, forward is left rudder. Right. So if I'm doing a turn here, I coordinate it that way. Straighten it up, pull it back on the stick. And the nice thing about this airplane, it's pretty low rudder airplane, so we don't need a, once you have it set. I don't know why that one's always indicating. I know, it's up, but that's... Yep. So, back on the rudder to do a bit of right rudder input. Travel off, put a bit of left rudder in. Definitely, uh, you know, I mean, it, it takes some uh, getting used to if that's what you had to oh. learn. All right, if you're if you're used to your feet, there's no doubt, but right. it's... Yeah, it definitely takes some getting used to. <laughs> It feels quite good. Yeah, it's really forward. That's what I think too. Nice and short landing. Once we're steering with it, it's a, a little, it becomes a little more intuitive because that's where we're steering with it more actively. Okay, I'm going to do a right-hand turn here. Let me... You're doing brakes, though? Yeah. I'm going to go out here and just do a couple donuts. So I'm going to do a... Uh, Left-hand turn, so push all the way in. A little, little bit of break. Not much at all. And then once we did a full 360, I'm going to go and do a turn the opposite direction. See how we do. Straighten over here and pull back all the way. Yeah, that gauge is working perfect. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yep. And so you see, when I'm all the way to the left, see, I've still got lots of space I could go forward. Yep. The 
Yeah, yeah, it should be over here. It's, uh, right. It should be back here, right. You got brakes on your side too. I guess I do. Yeah? I forgot. Yep. Yep, I do. 